Right folks, welcome back to another edition of the MCM Outdoor Show. It is the 20th of January 2018 and it's been snowing overnight and there's weather warnings everywhere. So, what better thing to do than get the hammocks out and go sleep in a forest. As we always say, write your own adventure and don't take life too seriously. It's going to be a funny one this um, because Walshie is going to do his first ever hammock camp. Uh, anyone who knows Walshie and has watched the videos knows how anal he is about everything so it's going to be quite funny to watch him struggling uh, with a hammock. What the f what the f is that? Start cutting the grass and then I just it's just so nice, I just have to give it a little stroke. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Go on camping. I just can't wait to use it. Uh, Go up my shed. What, what you've lost the plot. Just a just a like just a fly mo. Is it? Come on, it's raining. Get in. I know you've got issues, but just remember what your council has said. And just try oh, and put the things into practice. So I'll just get it ready for the summer and uh start looking at using it a little bit. Now listen, you've got to stop breaking into me shed. Leave the lawnmower alone. We're not cutting the grass yet. Don't worry, just do the self-help things that your councillor said. He's lost the bloody plot. <laughs> Are you excited, Michael? Yes. For your hammer camp? Ready to try out all the new gear. Oh, are you? Come and show the viewers what you've got. It's all packed away, nice. So, okay, talk us through it, Michael. Yeah, do you want us to actually see it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> so, is this your first hammock camp? This is. And are you scared? I've been there enough, Shug. All right, so Shug got Emery. The, got the Van Gogh. Sherpa. Van Gogh Sherpa. Yeah, how much does your bag weigh? Very heavy. Probably about 30 to 35 kilos, I reckon. 30? Shut up. I reckon. It's not 30 it's kilos. It's still heavy, though. Elaine couldn't even pick it up. No, mine must be more than that. I've got... I'm going to heat some air and ice stew up, which I'll show you later. So I've just got my uh, pans there. Yeah. I've got a new purchase here. Yeah, what's that? That's the um, Biddy Bag X Army uh, Gore-Tex. Yeah. Nice from Military Mart, 35 pound. Great yeah. service as always. Yeah. Got a couple of carabiners in there just in case. Got a new torch that I can't wait to show you. Have you? Yeah. It's a, on with you? it's a torch and a lantern. It's a New Year's resolution, yeah. buy things. Well, I need a lantern. I hook on to my uh, ridge line, so right. And obviously, I've got the, everything to uh, set up the hammock with. Right. Well, here's mine. Chair, rucksack. Which feel that? That has even got the ailing. Yeah. Is that with, with water? Mine's like heavier. Well, heavier than that, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, I've got them two bags as well. So yeah, it's ridiculous. Mine's mine weighs a about three liters of water. I've got six beers. And, uh, we don't do any of this absolute rubbish. If you don't subscribe to any of that rubbish when, here, when you've got your stuff, one of them, you best thing to subscribe. Yeah. When, you've got the, when you've bought the stuff, you may as well just get your use out of it. So, we're just waiting for PK, and uh, then we're going to hit the woods. See you in the forest. To get your free coffee. What have you been buying? It's a flower even. He's dripping himself, he's dripping in brand. Dripping in money, this fella. He's got dripping, look at him. Got money well spent. He's dripping in brand. Get your uh, get your <coughs> Right, we're all here. Something a little bit different. First, first hammock camp for the Walsh Meist. It's gonna be hilarious. The goat. The goat's learned his knots. And uh, he's been up all night, he hasn't slept because he's nervous. I was doing them in a lane, just getting out to hold my phone while I was doing them. So I've got the uh, Evank knot and the, um, what's the one? Co uh, Corley Hitch. Corley the Hitch Corley knot. Hitch? Adjustable Corley Hitch. Enough rubbish, let's, uh, let's get to the forest. Just getting ready to set off. Just fired the car up. Temperature check, car system's initialising. I don't know, it doesn't say yet. Let's get the heat on. We're up to 10 miles to the destination, is it? Yeah, not bad. 10 miles. 
I'm just waiting for my satellite navigation system to initialize then I can put the destination in I've got that tune is that Charlie Puth? <laughs> is that Charlie Puth? <laughs> he's an imbecile you know where he's going is he? <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> and his mirrors are in <laughs> oh god he's causing a crash <laughs> Right, we're heading off to, well, we can't say the location, can we? No. It's it's an area of private woodland, which one of our friends owns, who's kindly given us permission to use it. Um, and it's really, it's really handy, isn't it? Somewhere just to come out and practice. Well, she's never been there. I've done a video in there previously. Um, and it's great because it's about 10 minutes away from my home address so um, temperatures three degrees oh, there's no such thing as being too cold that really annoys me people like Walshy that moan about um, I'm not bothered by the cold yeah, you are I'm not. there's nothing wrong with too cold is there it's just like you need the right gear if you've got the right gear um, you'd be absolutely fine and we all have the right gear so it's a good adventure if you don't do things like this you just sit in the house really boring uh, people like that just rubbish that's about it really i woke up about six yeah, six a.m this morning speak dead loud, uh, i was that excited i just couldn't get back asleep so it's the excited new day try something new and use the kit <laughs> use the kit look at this ice yeah. it's very dangerous it's gonna get colder isn't it someone could slip Right, we're here on site. Uh, it's three degrees. It's quite cold, but it's all right. Um, literally, literally, just got here. We've picked our picked our trees. Pick where we're going to go. We're going to get the tarps up and just create some an area of dryness to put all our kit under, um, and then commence beer drinking and exploring and relaxing. Right, that's my setup done some kind of random knot there on the ridge line prussic knots with carabiners to keep that tight the tar and because it's chucking it down we've got an area of uh, a, a sterile area where we can stay dry at our leisure keep your kit dry and uh, sort the hammock out from underneath here let's go and have a look at Walshy and see how he's getting on Do you like these? Oh, that's what Hello. Hello. It's not it's not taking long has it? <laughs> well she's messing everything up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit in my hammock. Which is fine. And let let Barry Chuckle get on with his whatever he's doing there and I'm gonna I'm just gonna sit and drink whiskey and have cigars. How's it going Bazza? Bazza Chukalio Barry Walsh yeah. There's nowhere near high enough is he? Well, one that's as tight as the tree Yeah but it's not tight that's why it's drooping down look <laughs> PK look <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's 
going mad. <laughs> Just go for a sleep. I'm not helping. No. No, nowhere near high enough. So I need another tree then, don't I? No. Well, I'm gonna have to take this off and start again. You can have to start again. The video's gonna end here because I'm helping Walshy. Or your body weight, as high as you can reach on the branch, as high as you can reach, but whilst lean into it, so you're leaning downhill. Keep the friction on the bark, bring it right round, tighter than that, put more into it, put, put it tighter. Literally as tight as you can and then put that tension onto the tree, maintain that tension, that's it. Bring it round like twice and then tie a knot. Right, we've got black cab stout. I like this stout. This one will interest you. Sticky toffee pudding ale. Why will, why will that interest me? Weird. Don't be trying to call beard, me a sticky weird. toffee pudding. Your weird. It'll interest you. Simple. Okay, yeah. That's your question. And this one really will interest you. Going back to your childhood, <laughs> Bishop's Finger. I was never a choir boy and I wasn't involved with the church, so that's got nothing to do with me. Denial. You're just trying to relive you your youth. You something, You're just it? trying to relive your youth. You just tells you something. A little bit of. What's that? Is that shrunk, that bottle? <laughs> What's happened to it, mate? That's a little treat for you, that <laughs> It's wilted. <laughs> Tell us about your setup then. You seem to have a few little accessories here. Yeah. What's going on? You rich Talk line. us through it, yeah. From Henge uh, Hammocks. Yeah. Helpful. Good staff, Little good good guy. Yeah. Took them out the way. Prussic knot. Yeah. That's what you've shown me. Pull it source. Yeah. And then we've got me hammer. Loud as you can. It's got the housing on. DD uh, hammock mat. Tucked into the lining. Foil mat. Yeah. Push the heat back up to it. Bivy bag. Is it going to be getting warm in there tonight? Hubbard XL. Sleeping bag. Yeah. Nice little squashy pillow. Don't pump them up too tight. Right. Uncomfortable. Give a bit of give them. There you are. Cracking. Well, we're going to see Mr. Walsh. I think he's on the edge. I don't want to push him too far. Because uh, I think he was going to punch me. There's going to be some violence. Tell us. Well, we put a new battery on, and you can talk to the viewers through your first time of putting a hammock up. Well, go on, let's yeah. see if. Go on, speak as loud as you can. Cause Not very good. Why? Well, I had two two knots that I learned to uh, get the ridge line up. Got it quite tight, and I tried to tighten it and loosen it. Then obviously I had the tarp on top, so then I couldn't actually get the line tight again. So I had to basically start from scratch while getting wet, um, and then I just did it. The way the other lads have done it, where you just wrap it round and get your body weight on, just to get it nice and taut. So that seems to have helped. Um, it's difficult to get it nice and tight because I haven't got any prussic knots or anything. So it's uh, you can make well, you could do a makeshift yeah. one just with a bit of string, but it's not worth it, is it? So all in all, was that a pleasant experience, Michael? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later, the Walsh Meister's still faffing round. So I thought I'm going to play a tune which reflects. The sombre, forlorn flappage, the tune of flappage.
Walshy. Yes. <laughs> Show us your beer. I'm still not happy with my tar. Don't mention that again. <laughs> Right, talk us through your setup. You've got a nice screw here for hanging its LCD TV. A look at a turf on the wall. Yeah, doing the job there, isn't it? Can't hear you. You laughed at them, but did the job. Yeah, screws. You've you've seen it here first. MCM Outdoor Show. Adapt and improvise. So talk us through your beer. What is the alcohol selection? And Chateau Waltz. We've got a. Uh, Back to the old Aldi ones because it was in there and I liked them so got the Redwell steam lager. Yeah. Right. Same one again, still from the Red, uh, Redwell, West Coast Pale Ale. Yeah. And then we've got a, a couple of ciders here. Cidre. This one. Got a twisted tree, vintage cider, bit of a craft cider. Yeah. So this one's a bit on the strong side, 7.4%. Cracking. So we're going to get that down in a minute just to lighten up. Yeah. And we've got uh, a hot cider, 4%, oh, a little nice. craft cider, they're from hop Aldi cider. as well. That's good. It's quite uh, rare that hop cider, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I think it is. We've got the old, I think it's American, Goose 312, Urban Wheat Ale, from the Goose Island uh, Beer Company there. And then last one. Is the hip flask. We have, oh come on. This, I think, uh, Norwegian. I get Indian Pale Ale, and again it's a bit of a bit of a strong one, six point five percent. Great. And uh, I've got some nice food there, a nice barley stew. Very good. Made by the mother-in-law. Excellent. And here's while she's set up. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. We've done a bit of improvisation to help him out. Okay. Time for a little bottle just to keep warm. Go on there. Only like about 12, Chris. Oh, yeah. Just sits on. No. Yeah, I'll show you. See that bit there with the four, uh, like yeah. That'll there. Uh, it's the, the official jet boil one. Yeah. What are you doing, Walsh Meist? That's what I've got in there. Boiling on some water. Another coffee. Left me spoon over there though. So these are the surroundings. We've got a uh, bluebells starting to to poke through already. It'll be nice here in the spring. Bit of spring colour. Um, it's getting a bit chilly now. I'm gonna get my hat on. That's why I bought this oversized waterproof jacket. It was, it was on offer in Gainers at Ambleside. It's an XL or an XXL, which is clearly far too big for me. But when you've got a down jacket on, you don't want to get your down jackets wet. So buy an oversized jacket, keep your down dry, and you can have your hard shell with your down underneath. Little snippet of information for you. What's that? We're just trying to get a little fire going. Well, she's on the first alcoholic beverage. So it's the Twisted Tree Vintage Cider, 7.4%. Twisted Tree Vintage Cider is a fabulously full-bodied, medium-dry cider. With over 30 years of experience, crafting from beautiful blossom to your glorious glass. Our master cider maker uses a variety of English apples from the orchard harvest. Pour and adore. So on the nose, smells like apple juice. That's weird that. Mm. Surprising. Mm, nice. Is it? Yeah, really nice. It's like nice and normal apple juice. Is it? But it's 7.5%. There we go. I smell like a carton of apple juice. Tastes like it as well. Didn't even think that was alcoholic. It's insane. 
Nice, isn't it? It's like russets, red apples in that. Yeah. Red, that's lovely, that. It's like apple juice, isn't it? Not that for breakfast. I've got ten cans of that. Out of ten. Just imagine a summer barbecue with that. 20, 20 cans of that. Some nice pork on the uh, barbie. Oh, Sausages, nice, nice sausage. Is, uh, it's lovely. He's ruined it. He's ruined it. <laughs> right. First beer of you. The Brooklyn Scorcher IPA. Four and a half percenter. The initial open. Got gloves on. That was lame that, it was a damp squib. <laughs> Here we go, colour. Straw like. Smell. Pumpkin. Taste. Creamy and mellow. Lovely. Set. All right. Okay, we've got Bishop's Finger. Kentish Strong Ale, alcohol 5.4%. Okay, the colour looks like a 96 year old catheter bag. Smells like a 96 year old catheter bag. Ooh. I think I've just actually experienced the bishop's finger. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Right, I'm going to leave these two reprobates here and I'm going for an explore. I don't want anything bad happening in my absence. <laughs> <laughs>